What's up guys? This is the Braveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode, of, well actually the last episode of my Napoleon Total War 3 Let's Play as the Swedish Empire. So to pick up where we left off, we are attacking the Russian garrison here at Minsk and they are made up of a pretty terrible bunch of troops led by uh, Vikenty Groshev. So let's kill them. We've got this city to take, we've also got Moscow to take and we've also got um, Smolensk, I believe. So uh, it's going to be an episode of three battles, and then the enemy will be defeated. And then this campaign will be over, and then I will host a faction vote, which should be quite interesting. Uh, but details of that to follow. Anyway, let's put... My 12 is going to advance up to this high-ish ground. But fundamentally, this Russian force is very weak we are best served advancing and killing them with the muskets rather than plinking out of range my sixes will not get involved they'll stay near the artillery the 12 pounders and my howitzers will also join the right flank as well got my heavy cavalry on the far left right let's get cracking so they're going to be over here somewhere. Advance up towards them. Not fussed about facing any of the enemy units in the field. Six pounder stay where they are. Howitzers get close. Maybe further down the reverse of the slope. Or forward of the reverse of this. That side of the hill, so they're protected from direct fire gunnery. My left flank. There's the Russians. My general's probably best placed up on this hill. So who's this over here? 15th Lancers. Not fussed about them. Significant component of their force is just militia so I'm afraid we will push into them pretty darn aggressively. There's an actual regiment of Mushkateri. They won't be able to stop what's going on. Might have been a bit aggressive with this advance on the left. We're going to speed up time because things take a little longer. But make sure my infantry are a good way down the hill, but I'm not going to be able to maintain that aggressive advance. We men are going to push into the enemy rear, and then you men are going to have to start to wrap around the flank and push through the town to harass the enemy rear. Enemy light horse on the flank. My six pounders actually might be able to get involved. So their cavalry will do a lot of damage on the charge, but then my lancers will do. My um, light cavalry will do more work. Okay, the 24th foot guards. Drop into square, because it looks like they're going to continue to try and charge through our line. Which if they are, they are welcome to. Withdraw my cavalry. My infantry will force them away. 12 pounders in... Oh, this is... This is going to be murderous. Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! So my right flank is going to hold. My left flank. You men form square. My foot Jaeger representing delicious, delicious kills. Yeah, they made it to the protection of the square. The foot guards fire it well off. Is soon to be yours. Halt fire. 
push my cavalry up, but I'm not going to go too crazy. Okay, let's progressively form men into squares. Okay, you men form up to engage them with musket fire. You engaging the 18th foot. You engage the 16th regiment of militia. Although it looks like you don't want to do that. I'm not really doing what I want to do either. Excellent. So the enemy cavalry are defeated. So let's get my other units up around the flank. My cavalry. You can try. You can. You can there. No, you can be ready to chase that cavalry unit away. Let's get some more muskets into the action. You men engage. So you try and engage the 16th regiment. You men try and engage the 6th. You men try and engage the 26th. And we're generally over here because we might be about to see off an enemy bayonet charge. You men both charge. Their morale is poor. My general is on the way. Guard mode off. If you seek, if you find advantage, you will press it. Let's see if we can get these troops up and ready to go. Excellent. You men bayonet charge the 27th. No, they've broken just from the suggestion. So you men push up aggressively. The enemy cavalry on the left is coming back up. You men form ranks because the 27th are on their way. You men push up. Charge the 16th. They broke just on the thought of being bayonet charged. Let's pop our morale boosting effects. You men charge the seventh, but it looks like we're about to see a precipitous collapse in the enemy strength. You men advance straight up the center. Try and inspire the, the men. men. I don't give a damn. New men, Bennett charge the 23rd in the flank. He's in Delta, about face. You men pursue the 23rd. Yeah, 36th have broken. Yeah. It's a complete enemy route, and the only thing left to resist us is the enemy general. Excellent, the cavalry on the left, yeah, they're gone. <laughs> poor, poor Russia. You men form up. You men all attack. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must pay. There we go. Awesome.
that is the first battle of Minsk done and dusted. He lost 389 men. We've captured that city. Let's repair the military academy. My general can my spy can stay where they are. You are one march away from Smolensk. But Moscow, with their zero defences, is ripe for the taking by Habad Springporten, because Mr. Backstrom has taken the bullet there. But just a second, guys, I need to quickly sort something out. And they're back. Right, so, Mr. Springporten. Let's break the Moscow garrison. They don't even have a general in command of the defence. So this army does have a greater component of actual infantry. So we might want to take this um, a bit more carefully. However, there's nothing to suggest that our general plan of advance into their faces, shoot them and then stab them, will not work. So this hill is going to be the hill to fight over. So I want... There's no... Eh, my 12s can probably try to get up to here, maybe. There's no great positions. Maybe here and fire along the battle line if they can get there. Maybe. Let's try to get a unit of... Who can... 183 men can garrison that building. I have no unit small enough. My sphere lifeguard and my... Well, I suppose they actually are going to be deploying to the rear. Let's get my 12 pounders up front. We do have some opportunities to advance in the center. Make sure we deploy correctly either side of the 12s. There we go. Deploy some troops on the right flank. All my cavalry are going to deploy responsively to whatever the enemy pushes our way. My howitzer is going to be unlimbered off the bat. Plus my big chin general. Okay. Crest the hill. Let's see what we find. Uh, I suppose it's good etiquette to try and keep some cavalry on the flank at least. Push, push, push. No enemies to target, because we can't see anything. But they're going to be deploying somewhere back here. Even if they push up through the town, we'll be... We'll be in position with plenty of time to spare. Just to make sure, i going to keep my general closer in the centre. Let's speed up time. So we're starting to crest the hill. Should start to get some sort of visibility on enemy dispositions inside the town. I would like to take the building, but... So you see, it's 0 out of 183. So if you have more men than that, they'll just stand outside in a square, which I think looks a bit silly. Second foot guards, they formed a defensive square, so they could see me. I'm prepared to deploy around the buildings if that becomes a risk. A couple more units on the left. Seventh Grenadier, second foot guards. Okay. Let's, let's assume that we can wheel our right, fr right flank around a bit more. Give my 12s a bit better position to shoot. Bring some cavalry reserves over to the left flank. There's some enemy troops. It looks like they are good there. Also joining the trend of marching this direction. Unlimited my 12s. 7 pounder howitzers. Yeah, you can't 
don't see anything. Sick grenade is it's having to redeploy based on my push. Then we have a good amount of strength on the left, but I'm confident that my cavalry overmatch will be able to equalize things. There's six pounders getting ready to fire. Get my cavalry out wide. Push the howitzers up. Yeah, they're still abandoning the right flank. Okay, let's take some of our, more of our cavalry out on the right. If they're going to fall into the city, I'm going to want to keep my troops squeezing them into the town. I hear musketry. Let's see if we can draw them into battle. We do have the fourth horse guards to the rear. Mm, they're charging. So let's not be afraid to anchor our defence against this feature. Get my howitzers ready to deploy. You men aren't shooting at anything, which is unfortunately unfortunate. There you go, even the Russian grenadier polk. Pull my cavalry out wide, so whichever one they pick. Turn around. Running the wrong way. Look, there we go. And a bunch of them died. Path fine, damn it. <laughs> They're all numbered. You men advance up to this choke point. broken the enemy cavalry which should rout quite quickly because we're right at the edge of the map my infantry can push to try and convince some of their infantry not to keep advancing first regiment of dragoons are on their way Okay, that's a lot of stuck Russian troops. Form defensive squares, try and suck up the cavalry of the second horse guards. First regiment of dragoons appear to be stuck. Bring my heavy cavalry in, ready to slam into the rear of the 7th Grenadiers. This cavalry is sucking up some fire. Howitzers are engaging the 13th Regiment. So the Horse Guard attack the 1st Regiment of Dragoons. They go, as soon as you guys are free. Well, you guys may, you might attack the Dragoons as well, bring the 31st Horse Guards in. You men both engage that unit, Howitzers, Barrage, you men and Limber. Get out of formation, my general may be required to shore up the right flank. Not to shore it up exactly, because that implies implies things are not going well. That my heavy cavalry gonna have to pursue the enemy dragoons off of the map. My 41st horse guards charging Glory the grenadiers. The 
15th have been broken. Expose your flank to the first horse guards. You men have to attack the second foot guards, which is not ideal. You are asking to rout. These are two militia units as well, so that's even more likely. Generally, to try and get over here to solidify. No, he doesn't. He's going to stay here because. My men. Gonna have to dig deep. The men of the team, sir, must rest away. Dig deep. Get in 27th horse guards. Foot guards. Get the 43rd horse guards over here rapidly. Get you men over here rapidly. Slam into the back. That's the centre of gravity for the Russian army. The left flank can crumble. But my f this flank is pivotal. There we go, it started. The route is starting. There it goes. The men are fatigued, sir, and must I don't care that they're fatigued. Pursue them. Destroy them. This infantry advance. This infantry advance. You men advance. Where's my heavy cavalry? They can begin to trot back. Yeah, my left flank is a different story. You men keep attacking the enemy general. Okay, let's not get... Let's not get hasty. Form up. Heavy cavalry push on into the grenadier. No, don't even do that. 42nd horse guards is pursuing the first horse guards. Yeah, and the foot guards managed to rout both my units of militia, which is to be expected. You men withdraw. How it says limber up. Get ready to redeploy them. You men withdraw to the guns. This regiment of foot try redeploy over to the left. Get my 44th horse guards over there. Where's my general? Eh, you can keep attacking the grenadiers, I suppose. If they don't want to rout... Bring this heavy cavalry into the centre. They'll buy time for my infantry force to the redeploy. Are the grenadiers are coming. The you men advance towards the second foot guards. My howitzers have time to escape. You men run. You can't afford to completely check out. We need to maintain pressure on the enemy's front. Where's this Curacier unit? They've come back from routing, which is excellent. You men charge the second foot guards through my own militia. New men charge into the rear of those Russian grenadiers. New men advance up behind here to keep them in good condition. New men canister shot this concentration of troops. New men go on against the last Russian infantry unit here. New men both attack the seventh, and hopefully that will be the end of them. 
Boom. And the sixth. Fire. Straight into the centre of their formation. Now one of you go after the sixth. You men hold position. Who's that? It's a unit of Yegevra. What was uh Yegeria? Mm, yeah, 30, 33 men remaining, so I'm pretty happy that they're gonna be dead. Musketeer unit is going to rout. The men of the are a must rest a while. This Crassier routed, but so did the Russians. My militia units here have formed up. Bring my cavalry over here to form up as well. Twenty-eight foot guards. Make ready. Or fire into the fifth regiment also. This howitzer unit engage the left flank instead. You men all form up on the flank. Okay, you guys get your strength back. You guys should really too, but don't really have the flexibility to do... Actually, we do have the flexibility to do that right now. You men fall back. Pull back to a better defensive position. Mm. This musketeer unit's going to push off. Gonna have to deploy you guys to engage the enemy infantry. You men push on into the Grenadieri Polk. Reinforcements are here! Not that we're that bothered. We're going to get our cavalry to push back. And it's Mr. Backstrom! To be honest, you guys could just withdraw. No, no, you're not going to. You're going to get charged by the 13th foot, then you're going to withdraw. One of you withdrew, it's pretty good. Newman advance, let's get my general over onto the left flank. We can start to try and charge some enemy troops that are coming back. Musketeers, veteran musketeers. Yeah. 42nd horse guards will be in good shape by the time you come back. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. I'm sure they're fatigued. Hey, the cavalry came back just to... No, not, not the edge of the map, but they're still fairly close. Okay, form up and get your breath back. Let the 119th pour fire into this unit of musketeery. You guys want to aim at something more in the centre, that's fair enough, I get that. But a new general with a bit more... a bit more zing in his step. Engage that unit of musketeers. My general is close, although you're both very tired. And again, so are they. Oh, it's a fire coming in at the back. Oh! Exceptional shot, sir. Excellent. Pursue them. It's the horse artillery, the 5th grenadiers, the 6th grenadiers. Okay, let's not go mad.
take the localized success for what it is. Cavalry's ready. I'm going to make them run just before they get within range. Unit that's winded, get ready to push against the 14th Regiment for the 43rd. Horse Guards are still exhausted. Charge into the enemy infantry. Good. And this unit, similar sort of thing. Okay, now they got a charge because they're starting to fire. But they are only winded, quote unquote. Okay, you men form up. You units get ready to, to support the right flank if my cavalry crumbles. Infantry form up, cavalry stay behind, Mr. Backstrom stay to the rear. Canister shot. Excellent. Excellent. This 14th Regiment has been routed also. Keemen that are exhausted, push the right flank. We're engaging the enemy handily. 5th Grenadier, 6th Grenadier. Looks like they may attempt to bayonet charge us. Nope. Good old fashioned gun fight. The guns can cease fire because they're not going to, they're not super useful anymore. Two infantry units are enough to break this unit of musketeery. Grenadiers are putting that. Oh, oh, they are. They, they might try it. Four souls. My general's right here to give me some, give me some go-go juice. Keep firing as they close the distance. Come on, you men, form up. Push everyone up, ready to engage some of the dregs. Human can run because you're fresh. 27th foot guards, you're fresh. You can hit the veteran musketeers easy. These infantry can push around the house. Both of you men charge the musketeers. There goes the veteran musketeers. Human advance towards the 13th, ready to engage. It's another enemy retreat. I'm 
Musketeers here are gone. Are you going to shoot my general? Nope, you're not. Make a U-man charge. This regiment of foot. Try take them out of commission. Yeah, my guys are exhausted, but you guys are also exhausted and you're already wavering. My guys are heavy cavalry. We will stand. It's There's one last unit in the centre of town. Just push him. Just push him. That infantry unit broke. Get ready for glorious battle. In slow mo. Let's stop my guns from firing, because that's not super helpful. There we go. The last unit remaining is this unit in the centre of town. Format my cavalry. Looks like they're going to try and give us the slip. So let's speed up time, just because movement in this game is a little bit slow. And we all know what's going to happen here. They're wavering. They might even row, actually. So it's the 26th Foot Guards, 131st Regiment of Foot, and the 43rd Horse Guards. A few men have committed seppuku. Leave Guard Jaeger. Gonna hit the line. The men of the teams must rest them. They don't care, they're fatigued, they're chasing down a routing enemy. There we go, Moscow is secured. Hurrah! This mighty city of the Russian Tsars is now ours. And we're going, obviously going to peacefully occupy because we're not monsters. Uh, the battle is not over. Smolensk still eludes us and Mr. Alnquist is going to take this city. And he's been fighting for an awful long time. Awful long time. I mean, he's got some experience level 6 Dragoons. Barun himself, to the age of 24, attacking general mentioned dispatches and con confident general. Yes, yeah, so some of my cavalry and stuff can attack, but I presume it's my artillery. Cannot attack until next turn. So let's hit end turn. Let's allow everyone to progress one turn of movement. Whatever, what Russian forces exist um, are not going to be significant challenges for us. They're not going to be able to take any of our cities. So if they want to run around and raid, they can run around and raid because their empire is about to be destroyed. Even if you guys attempt to actually attack a port. The scholars are moving out of the university. But the end is here for the Russian Empire. So we're <laughs> I presume... They're all fleeing to Smolensk to try and hold it, because they know they're they're vulnerable. But I don't think they're going to get there quick enough. I don't think they're going to get there quick enough at all. All gone. They're repaired. Okay, so we've got Mr. Omkris against someone plus a garrison. Not much of a garrison at that. Hey, it's Kutuzov himself with a bunch of militia. It's all militia except one unit of skirmishers. Sorry, good sir. Let's take you out. The last city of Russia is being defended by an army of just militia. Somewhat poetic. I think the guns can sit this one out. Let's create an almighty line. Advance, surround, destroy. They don't even have any cavalry. They may even 
attempt to just charge us. We'll bayonet charges off the bat, which if they do, that would be... That too would be... Uh, that would be acceptable. Push more cavalry out through the woods, because we currently can't see anything. And we're going to speed up time, because... why not? I mean, Mr. Kutuzov himself is all the way back here. We don't really have any understanding of where their infantry is, but wherever their infantry mass is, we will deploy and destroy them in short order. My force is an elite force. Hello? So we're going to deploy slightly off kilter, it looks like. So let's just re-jig my deployment. It's going to take a bit of time to figure it out, but yeah, I I don't know how quickly they're going to... Oh, well, they they're running. Bless them. Ooh, hello. It's actually a bigger line than I thought. Very well. Let's get ready for the close-in fight. Let's give my men slightly less distance to push. That's the general. We don't want him. Push, push, push. Something. My cavalry's not afraid on this flank. It's all just militia anyway. Yeah, their skirmishes are engaging me at range. And it's working. We've lost one dragoon. My cavalry is going to push so I can try and curl this flank around. Okay, their skirmishes have marched beyond the reach of their own infantry. Light horse advance first. It's had a bit of a kink in our line. Make a human charge 16th, 7th horse guards push. We've destroyed the enemy skirmishes, so my left, cover on the left can withdraw. Fourth light horse attack the 16th. Human push on to attack the 13th. There we go, we're going to surround and destroy a couple of units on this flank. In rather swift succession. Now the enemy line's pushing, so we will run to meet them. Seventh light, seventh uh, horse guards attack the thirteenth regiment of militia. The fourteenth regiment of militia are going to be engaged on all flanks. There we go. Pursue and destroy the thirteenth regiment of militia. Somewhat. Hello, Mr. Kutuzov. My dragoons pursue this regiment of... M wrong dragoons. Nope. You men don't run all that way. You men will, though. I hear bayonet charges. Hmm. 
My Dragoon's going to counter charge to a certain degree into the 15th. Yep, they've been sliced and diced. You men run. Get Mr. Almquist to support this flank. You men make ready and fire. Push my cavalry up because the general's right here. Human advance. So my light dragoon, my heavies go for the militia, and my lights go for the general. It's probably not going to matter too much. There he is, he's engaging with one of my light dragoons. Got him isolated. There he goes. My dragoons, these dragoons push on to the 8th Regiment of Militia. General Staff is routed. Massive volley there from the 9th, straight into the... My, my 9th Regiment foot into the 9th Regiment of Militia. Glorious victories, huh? Push my cavalry on onto the 11th. Is there the, they're the ones that are around the flank, you men. Push into the militia here. Actually, you do the same. Because you could shatter them. It's a lot of dead militia. I think it's probably quite safe. They're not going to come back. You, the general's bodyguard. You men slam into the ninth. Yeah, but they've booked it too. And there goes the eleventh. Advance the cavalry to the other flank. This unit char move on to advance onto the towards the twelfth. Charge the general. There he goes. I mean, that's just his general staff anyway. Dragoons hit the 12th. You men all hit the 6th. The 10th regiment support the cavalry. I think it's safe to say that these guys are uh, done. These Dragoons have got experience level 7. Yeah, mass charge. Lots of upset Russians. Get Mr. Almquist over here, just in case something bizarre happens. Stand up guards and at home. Go get him, Rune! Oh, generals don't like attacking things unless they're routing, I remember. See, now they'll do it. Very slowly. Oh, the general staff came back just for a second. But they, uh, too, have decided to flee the field. And there we go. The last Russian territory is ours. The Russian Empire is gone, and we, the Swedish Empire, hold the entire continent of Europe. No one stands against us. The entire continent is ours, and we have a ludicrous amount of firepower at our disposal. So many, about 134,000, 135,000, I suppose, rounding in tax, and burning 81,000 in Military spending, obviously 63,000 in army, 18,000 in navy, that seems fairly understandable because I've got lots more um, armies on the field than I do, than I do navies. 
I'm not trading with anyone. Ivory's worth a bucket load. The ministers are all positive. That's something at least. And those are the policies, policies I've kind of stuck to because it's never really been necessary to change them. Um, but yes, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this campaign, and I'll see you in the next video that will be released, I think it's about 15 minutes to half an hour after this one, uh, showing the faction vote. So make sure you get your votes in, and I'll see you next time.